In this video, I want to show you the strong connection between analysis of variance on the one hand and multiple regression on the other. And in doing so, I'm hoping to dispel the suggestion that analysis of covariance has as an assumption that the covariate can relate only to the dependent variable and not to the independent variable. And I make this argument because no one suggests that in the context of multiple regression that that should be the case, even though multiple regression and ANCOVA are fundamentally the same analysis. And that's because of the general linear model and the principle of least squares. So let me show you what I mean at the very basic level. Let's test the difference between two means with an independent sample t-test. And I'm going to look, use sex as the independent variable. And the grouping variables are 0 and 1. And I've got brain size in kilograms. I've already looked at this question earlier on in the chapter. It's the basic test of the difference between females and males with respect to brain size. Now this does not include body size as a covariate. And so the test of the difference is found to be statistically significant with a t of negative 7.135 and p equal less or p less than 0 0.001. Now importantly, the difference between the means amounts to, now let's calculate this precisely, 1.474 minus 1.2706 equals 0.2034. Now, what would you think would happen if I analyzed these data in such a way that I did a regression linear and used sex as the independent variable and brain size as the dependent variable? And click OK. Here I get a t value of 7.135, which is exactly the same as the t-test t value. And I also get unstandardized beta weight of 0.2034. 203, which implies that with a one unit increase in sex, which means going from female to male, there is a 203 gram change in brain size. So that is the same as testing the difference between the means, isn't it? This is a demonstration of the fundamental relationship between tests of the difference between means on the one hand and regression on the other. Now let's take it up a step by including a covariate. So if I go into analyze regression linear, and then I decide to include body size factor as a covariate, which is just another predictor in the context of multiple regression. I'm going to be able to estimate the effect unique to sex as a predictor of brain size independently of the effects of body size factor. So if I click OK on that, and I scroll down to the bottom, I get a sex unstandardized beta weight of 0.126 which is statistically significant 2.579. Now, does this 1.26 remind you of anything? Well, it should. It's the estimate of the difference between the estimated marginal means in the context of the ANCOVA. So let's do the ANCOVA again. General linear model, univariate. Put brain size as the dependent variable and body size factor as the covariate. Click on options. And this is version 24 of SPSS, so this is where the estimated marginal means are. Display means for, yes, and compare main effects, yes. Click OK. And here is the ANCOVA. It's the very same ANCOVA I conducted earlier, where the estimate of the difference between the estimated marginal means is 126 grams. And it's got a p-value of 0.11. And if we go to the multiple regression, I have 0.126, 126, a one unit increase in sex is associated with 126 grams of brain weight difference independently of any effects due to body size. So 126 and 126 here. This is the ANCOVA adjusted mean difference and this is the multiple regression. So what's interesting here is that you get exactly the same results whether you do a multiple regression or ANCOVA. But you might get someone who makes the argument against you using ANCOVA saying, you can't use ANCOVA in this context because the covariate is related to both the independent variable and the dependent variable. And in response, you might just think, is it really worth the effort of trying to explain to this person that ANCOVA and multiple regression are the same and just do the multiple regression? I don't know. At least I think it's insightful to see the connection between the two statistics.